welcome back loyalties it's your girl miss monificent here thank you all so much for joining me in today's video i will be showing you four dollar tree easter diys to see what it took to create these adorable little diys then keep watching now for this first DIY, as always, the items I used will be listed in the description box down below. Now the first thing I'm doing, I'm taking these Jenga blocks and I'm just playing around with them, trying to figure out how I want to form my letters. You do want to do this before you start gluing them down. You want to take each letter of the word and figure out how you want your letters to look and how they will also look um, formed together as a word. Okay, here you can see this is pretty much what I came up with, but I do end up changing the R, which we will see. Now that I have my letters the way that I want them, I'm going to begin using my Gorilla Wood Glue, and I'm going to begin gluing the letters. Okay, now we, after we're done gluing all of our letters together, now we're going to put our letters together as if we're forming a word. We're also going to be taking that cross. Now the ledge of that cross, we want it to hang up under our letters because that is where we're going to begin to create our ledge for our letters to glue on. So we want to put it below. And I'm going to start to take some Jenga blocks and I'm going to start to create my ledge starting with the left side of the cross okay so I'm going to begin building my ledge with the Jenga blocks and I'm using the Jenga blocks and I'm standing them sideways if that makes sense and I'm going to start by trying to attach it to the left side of the cross and I'm going to work from left to right until I have enough of the ledge that fills up all of the letters on the left side of the cross and it took five jingle blocks for all of the letters the left side of the cross now that I've done that I'm going to begin to use my Gorilla Wood glue and I'm going to glue five of those jingle blocks together in a row like making one straight line um, before you start gluing the Jenga blocks down just a tip you do want to test your Jenga blocks out because some of them can be unleveled or uneven so just a little tip before you glue them down you know kind of play around with the Jenga blocks to see which gives you the best fit after you're done making your first row you're going to make a second row laying it the same way straight across five Jenga blocks. Again, you want to test your Jenga blocks out and make sure that they are even. I do make a little bit of a mess with my Gorilla Wood Glue because when I'm doing things like this, um, I don't mind it being a little messy because um, I like to use a good amount because I want to make sure that my piece is going to be really good and sturdy. Now that I'm done with the left side of the cross, I'm going to be doing the right side of the cross. The same thing, I'm going to be forming my Jenga blocks, putting my letters together, together, and attaching the Jenga blocks, forming the Jenga blocks, attaching it to the cross, and then I'm going to glue those together in a row of two. I ended up using four on the right side of the cross, so two rows of four Jenga blocks on the right side of the cross. Okay, now that I have my rows dried and ready, I have prepped my rows uh, on each side of the cross. I have not glued the, ro the rows to the cross yet. I'm going to do my letters first. I just prepped it like this so that I could have my letters in the right place. I'm going to begin to glue my letters down 
on each side of the rose again I am being generous with this glue because I want to make sure that it does not fall apart on me um, I just wipe the excess off before it dries you can't even tell or see it it doesn't um, mess up the paint or anything as long as you wipe it while it's still wet and I like to wipe it with a damp cloth or a damp paper towel now that I have done that the left side I'm going to do the right same thing on the right side I'm going to place my uh, roll my ledge down up against the crosses ledge and I'm going to place my letters on top the end of the the let the word and I'm going to glue those down as well and it's really pretty much the letters are glued down in the middle of the Jenga block ledge okay now that I have my letters glued down to each side of the ledges I am going to begin painting them first before I glue everything together because I don't want I want to be able to get down in between the letters where they will be like combined on each side of the cross so I'm going to begin painting everything first and then I will begin to put it all together once it dries okay now I'm going to begin putting this whole word together so I'm going to take my Gorilla wood glue and I'm going to glue each end uh, onto the opposite sides of the cross I also forgot to add that I did take my dark wax in the Waverly brand and I just dry brushed it just to give it this like rustic antique look you know that's my decor if you decide to do this is many of things that you can do with this you can take a letter and bling it out you can bling it all out you know it's yours make it to your own liking or to match your decor this is just what I decided to do with it because I do have a lot of rustic decor in my home and I will be using this in my upcoming decor and this is the finishing project I did add a little Dollar Tree flower that I already had on the end of this and I absolutely love it now we can move on to the next DIY again for this next DIY check the description box down below for the items okay first thing you want to do is spread out your uh, Dollar Tree dish towel and I'm you want to be sizing so I'm just using this old little travel pillow that came with a blanket I've had this forever and I don't really use it for anything so I'm going to be using this to take my measurements for the Dollar Tree dish towel as well as the Dollar Tree car cloth that you can find in the tool and auto section of the Dollar Tree now I'm taking the Dollar Tree dish towel and I'm placing it on top of the car cloth and I'm using that to make sure that I have my measurements cut even now I'm taking the do the two pieces that I've cut you want to flip your Dollar Tree dish towel um, backwards and you're going to be gluing it that way so I'm starting with the bottom I'm just taking my hot glue this is the no so so meth no so method which is mine's preferably because I'm not um, a sewer um, if you are you and you decide to do that it's your preference but I'm just using this hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the bottom as well as the two sides okay once your hot glue is cooled then you want to flip your pillowcase uh, inside out or it's really the right side but you want to flip it and you want to check it and make sure that you don't have any gaps or openings and then you can begin to fill your pillowcase with whatever you decide to fill it with which you as you can see I'm using this little pillow now is where you're going to begin to stitch your last side and you're going to do somewhat of a roll method so you're going to roll the material on each side kind of almost like you're tucking it and then glue it together that way
Now that I have all four sides of my pillow, now that it's complete, I'm going to be taking that nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be hot gluing it right along the seams where the Dollar Tree dish towel and the Dollar Tree car cloth meets. So in the middle of the seam is where you want to glue it. You don't want to glue it like on the top of the front of the pillowcase or the back of the pillowcase. Right in the middle of the seam is where I'm going to be hot gluing this. And this is what it came out looking like. I am 100% satisfied. I think this is adorable for a Dollar Tree DIY. Now let's move on to the next one. For the third DIY, this one is pretty cool. It only took a few items. Okay, so first I want to begin with, um, I'm just taking this Sharpie marker I had on hand and I'm trying to outline this little zigzag pattern. I'm sorry guys, I thought I was recording. I already done it. Okay, now I'm taking my shears. Uh, I think they were these are serrated shears. You can pick these up at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to be cutting along my outline. I'm going to do this on both sides of the egg. Now that I'm done with cutting my outline, um, this doesn't hold clamp together like it would if it was a whole piece, but because I cut it, it makes it loose. So now I'm using my hot glue to connect this back together and it works out really well. Hot glue works really good for plastic. It works quick and it works good. I've also decided to take some packing tape that I had on hand. You can use any tape of your choice. And I'm just going to be taping on the inside where the two ends meet. Be careful doing this because remember you have raw plastic from the cutting. Now I'm going to be taking those pack of plastic eggs. These I actually already had. I've had these for some years. I picked these up for Walmart for like 88 cents. I have a bunch of them because I always overdo it when I make my kids Easter baskets. So I'm going to be taking those and I'm going to be hot gluing those on the bottom of the egg so that it can create like a stand for the egg. Now you want to use quite a bit of hot glue and hold it on there for a few seconds longer than you would normally because you want to make sure that it holds and you will see that when I do the second egg I don't hold it on as long so it like falls off but once I hold it on there a few seconds longer it holds on nothing falls off all the way to the end of the project it holds fine I apologize I did not show on camera me spray painting this because I do do it in my basement and it is a mess down there so I don't even try to take my camera down there and record but I did use some gold spray paint that I had on hand as I say all the time I really do have like buckets and loads of spray paints from other little DIYs and sometimes I buy more than I need but it actually comes in handy when I'm doing projects because that cuts down on my cost now I have taken one of those little square blocks they come in like a block of fours of the dry flower foam and I cut it down 
to fit down inside my eggs so that I could take these Easter floral picks and stand them down in there and as you can see while I'm working with this this project is very sturdy um, how the Easter eggs are acting as a stand it is really sturdy and when you're hot gluing the Easter eggs you don't well I didn't want them to be uniform so I do have them laying like in different ways on side of the big eggs some are kind of looking like they're standing up some of like they're laying down just to kind of make give it a different look I didn't like it to be all standing or laying the same way and this is the finished look oh my goodness I just adore this this is just so adorable I really really love the turnout on this one now let's move on to the last DIY now for this last DIY, it is really easy. I guess I saved the easiest one for last. Um, the first thing I'm doing is opening up that bag of 100 pearls. I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm just going to randomly place these. Just scatter them around the top of the clear plastic of the egg. And then I'm going to be taking the smaller sticker count pearls and I'm going to be placing them in between. I really don't have a pattern to this. I'm just randomly doing it and that is pretty much it to this DIY. Really simple, really easy to do. Now you can use this as a trinket tray or whatever you want to use it for. I'm using it as a candy dish right now. I'm just using these little Dollar Tree chocolate eggs with the gold wrappings. But I really like the way it came out. I did end up taking some of the pearls around the bottom edge of that top because I didn't like the way it was sticking out. But once I did that, I really, really do like the turnout on this. Tell me which one of these DIYs was your favorite down below in the comments section. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to hit that loyal button down below if you're visiting. I ask that you please, please, please join us. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on the fun. I will see you all in my next video. God bless.